Well, the music business is it's a mafia and it's it's very, very dirty and you know, people well you've seen they die, right? You know, there's this whole thing about star whacking, right? Randy Quaid. Oh, don't get me started. Yes. What's going to happen to gang stalking 2017? I can tell you right now. Gang stalking 2017 has gone mainstream. It is worldwide and it's across the board. And, and only, you know, Trump can, can do something against it. Yes, he can. As far as getting the people with their psychotronic weapons and beaming people on, I've been beamed all the time. It's like I've been beamed right here. Um, at one point, well, I don't want to say all the stuff that happens. You know what I mean? I keep it to myself because I, I don't want people that, you know, what, let's say they're tuning in and they, they want to hear how it's going, you know, after they just really hit me with something. Oh, <laughs> well, he, look, he's complaining. It, it worked. You know? and so I can't, you know, I can't really comment. Look, I understand, you know, people don't like being cooked with microwaves and they don't. Well, the biggest thing now to watch out for is voice to skull, you know, voice to skull, voice of God. When I hear the Lord, it's not, it's not really an idea that pops in. It's from another place that is not them. Because there's plenty of that, you know, you know, vo voice saying, oh, go ahead. It's okay. You know. <laughs> <laughs> don't be so hard on yourself no you know those are not from the Lord right the Lord wouldn't, doesn't talk like this it's just ridiculous but that is we know who talks like that oh don't be so hard on yourself it's okay or the, I love this one did God really say you know when you got that when you were inspired from that prayer what were you, was it really forever was it a word that applies forever, or is, now is it, are we ready to change it? It's like, no, the word of God doesn't change, and when you get a, a word like, love God with all your heart, mind, and soul, and, and if you drift from that, you, you're going you're gonna to be susceptible to those voices. But, yeah, there's a lot of voice-to-skull stuff going on, and they can do it massively. Um, there's an awful lot of uh, electro... I, I saw this one tower, and Trish didn't get a picture of it, it was the most sinister tower I've ever seen. It was not, you know, a cell tower. It was ridiculous. It had all this stuff on it. They tried to make it look like a tree. And it, it was just basically something to cook people with. It was horrifying to me. And um, I've, I've seen all these things out there. And I understand where, like, the people who are running things are, like, in another civilization where they look like, you know, Star Trek compared to us, right? They have different things they wear. They have different features and different, you know, and they're running things, but God is in control of them as well. You know, let's put it this way. What I've seen and what I know is this. We have to cling to God to get through this because they have it all the odds 90 to 1 against us. You know, but look how far we come this year with Trump. Yep. That, 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 it was, I, I mean, Nobody in my lifetime has ever struck a blow to the New World Order before. I've never seen anything like it. And by the way they react, I don't take roses from Hitler. The kind of rhetoric and stuff you hear doesn't, it's not one to one. It doesn't belong in the same conversation. It's not commensurate with what's going on, which shows me there's something else at work here. It's called a massive curse. And I think the way the Lord's dealing with it is these people will be cursed individually, not as a nation. And they curse themselves. It's not like Trump curses them. It's not like, I'm, so, I'm certainly not cursing them. I'm just describing what I'm seeing. I don't want to, I want everyone to do well. I don't want anyone to be cursed. But they are going to curse themselves now. You're going to see a big upheaval. That means, you know, say in uh, politics, entertainment and what you see out there, you're going to see a big changing in the guard in 2017. It's not like this thing gets started and just fizzles out. It's not going to fizzle out. Obama is, you know, some people have called him the Antichrist, that once he's really imbued with power from Satan, he's going to take over the UN and run the world. That remains to be seen. Um, certainly he seems unaffected. He, he curses Trump all day long, and he's not getting any blowback whatsoever, except 
uh, looking stupid, but then the followers of him are stupid too. So they don't, they don't, they don't see it that way. So I don't, I don't know exactly what his status is. He's not going to go. I don't see him going down, but I'm not sure that any of them and Soros and all the, they're setting up foundations and different things to, to sue Trump every time he sneezes. Uh, Lindsey Graham and uh, John McCain and Paul Ryan have vowed to sue Trump over immigration, sue Trump over tax. Anything he tries to do, build a wall, they want to sue. So we have a huge, you know, setting up this giant, uh, you know, line of defense where they're all Republicans and Democrats equally lining up to sue Trump, to stop Trump. And they put like, it's like a, a, a last line of defense on the two yard line, right? And they put up tanks and, you know, sandbags and everything they can do that looks impenetrable by by man. But if Trump really has God, if God is really in this, proof will be when Trump just slams right through their line, like it wasn't even there, like a hot knife through butter, right? It, it, that, that he winds up in the end zone without, um, without even breaking a sweat. That's what I would expect to see if God's hand is in this. If God's hand is not in this, if God has withdrawn his hand, then we'll see something else.